New research in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine led by scientists at Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center show that the odds for developing chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, among those who consumed cured meat products 14 times or more a month were almost double that of those who did not consume cured meats. Well, this is the first time that nitrates have been looked at as far as any kind of lung issue was concerned. Cured meats include bacon, sausage, luncheon meats like pastrami and corned beef, and beef jerky. They're high in nitrites, which are added to meat products as a preservative, an antimicrobial agent, and a color fixative. But nitrites are dangerous, already recognized as a risk for stomach cancer. They generate reactive nitrogen particles that may cause damage to the lungs, producing structural changes resembling emphysema. COPD is usually thought to be something that's associated with only smoking, but COPD can be found in non-smokers. As many as 15 to 20 percent of non-smokers can develop COPD, usually for genetic and environmental reasons. And cured meats may be one of those environmental reasons for COPD, the fourth leading cause of death in the U.S. I was surprised that pulmonary function could be affected by nitrosamines and cured meat. On the other hand, we know that there are so many bad things associated with nitrites that we shouldn't really be surprised when we find out there's yet another problem with these foods. More than 11 million U.S. adults suffer from COPD, which results from chronic bronchitis and emphysema. It's a big problem, but in spite of this latest study targeting meats, still, the number one cause of COPD shouldn't be lost in the mix. The most important way to avoid COPD is not to smoke or to stop smoking if you are a smoker. I can't emphasize that strongly enough. That's the most important factor in the development of COPD. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.